In 2003, a Japanese scientist, Dr. Hideaki Koizumi, was granted an audience with the late Pope John Paul II. Koizumi had succeeded in the development of optical topography, a system to measure and visualize brain activity by shining light into the brain. This new research, which hopes to merge science and humanities, is attracting attention from around the world. Koizumi's starting point dates back to his childhood and his unchanging fascination with monozukuri, which means making useful products. I used to enjoy dismantling the broken clock or broken gramophone at home. In fact, what I do today is almost the same as what I did back then. Koizumi's starting point was the Naka plant of Hitachi Limited in Ibaraki Prefecture, currently the Naka division of Hitachi High Technologies Corporation. I worked here for over 20 years. After joining the company, Koizumi worked here for 21 years. Koizumi visited his former workplace after several years of absence to give a lecture and provide guidance to young engineers. This is where he used to hold fiery discussions with many colleagues and was deeply involved in Monozukuri. Although no longer based here, he is still admired by many. After joining the company, he was assigned to the development division, where he not only drafted technical designs, but also of his own accord, went down to the factory floor to spend days working in the machine workshop. I seem to recall that the smell of machine oil was a lot stronger back then. The sound of the turning machine and the smell of oil is starting to make Koizumi's heart pound. Design and development work are just one small aspect of monozukuri. Monozukuri cannot be carried out without working together with the people who will actually be manufacturing the items. Good products cannot be created just by submitting a design. So I go and discuss the project with them face to face, get down with them on my knees in front of the machine to see what's possible and what's not. As a result, they exert their best efforts to achieve the desired results. Koizumi places great emphasis on working with the actual manufacturing team in Monozukuri. This approach goes back to his childhood. Koizumi was born in Tokyo in 1946. Even as a child, he loved to play around with machinery, dismantling his grandfather's gramophone and clock. When he was a schoolboy, he combined parts from a discarded refrigerator to conduct X-ray experiments and delighted in surprising people around him with the things he made. Dr. Takehisa Fujita, a university friend, comments on Koizumi's love of making things. What's special about Koizumi is that he can do everything by himself. People may have new ideas, but normally it is difficult to actualize it with one's own hands. It's generally one or the other. Uh, there are people who come up with the theory, and then there are people who take the theory and make something with it. But in Koizumi's case, if he has an idea, he probably just goes ahead and makes it himself. As soon as he had a new idea, Koizumi used readily available material to carry out experiments. His first big chance came soon after he entered Hitachi. At 
the time, the effects of pollution, such as Minamata disease, had become a serious social concern. He was given just one year to achieve this target. In response, Koizumi threw himself into physics experiments, his forte since his student days. Finally, he succeeded in developing the Zeeman effect mercury analyzer, which could detect mercury concentration in a single strand of hair within one minute. However, Koizumi was not satisfied with this. I wanted to see if I could make a device which could measure all the elements, not just mercury. So Koizumi put together an experimental machine using parts from scrap products at his plant and went on to discover the principle of the polarized Zeeman effect atomic absorption spectrometry which can measure all elements. The polarized Zeeman effect atomic absorption spectrophotometer based on this principle is still being sold today unchanged since it first went on the market in 1977, maintaining its number one domestic share and is still being used worldwide for various analytical measurement. As a result of this research, Koizumi's name rapidly became known worldwide. Next, Koizumi became involved in the development of medical equipment, a sector where at the time fierce competition in development was taking place. We had just received information that research on a machine called MRI had begun overseas. So we decided that we would develop this new machine. In the 1980s, as leader of the MRI project, Koizumi headed a mixed team of about 60 people. However, we were all working as hard as possible, pushing ourselves to our limits. But the deadline was fixed, and as this was a new concept, data collection was not going as smoothly as hoped. Under such stressful conditions, it was not unusual for us to quarrel, even grasp each other's collar or cry out of sheer frustration. Under such conditions, development requires real teamwork. Under great pressure, Koizumi kept in mind the words of Namihei Odaira, Hitachi's founder. Harmony brings great value. Koizumi's project team succeeded in delivering Japan's first domestically produced superconductive MRI, as well as a series of new MRI units. It was a different type of development from just conceiving an idea and making it by myself. In that respect, it was very difficult for me. At the same time, it taught me much. This experience has helped me in my later involvement in major national projects. After bringing this project to an advanced stage, Koizumi left Naka Works in 1992 and took up an appointment at the Central Research Laboratory of Hitachi Limited. In his new post, Koizumi decided to utilize his extensive experience in MRI and concentrate on fields of research in which no one had yet succeeded. Together with several young researchers, he commenced a project to measure brain functions using light. However, nobody could predict how light would behave when shone into the brain. So Koizumi, as always, used materials at hand to show an image of what would happen. When I beam light inside, in the case of this jelly, there are many different things inside. If we assume these to be various brain tissues, we can clearly highlight them just as we see the strands of fiber on the surface of this grape. Such flexible thinking led to the creation of optical topography. Today it is beginning to be used in many sectors, especially in medical treatment. When he was at Naka Works, deeply absorbed in Monozukuri, he would escape to a nearby cape to think, whenever he hit a mental block in his research. 
You can see Hitachi City over there. I used to come here often alone to watch the dawn break and enjoy the beauty of the sea at dusk. From measuring atoms invisible to the naked eye to studying the human brain, Koizumi has been constant in his devotion to analytical measurement. We asked him what he thought were the most important qualities in a researcher. When I come up with a new idea, it's not really a process of thinking, but more of a feeling. Then I focus mentally and physically becoming one in my mind with the experimental device. So when a minor change occurs, it feels like a change has occurred in my body. And when this happens, things which had escaped me until then suddenly become apparent. This feeling, sensation, this, I think, is the most important thing. Koizumi says, no matter how small, I want to make things that will benefit humanity. Driven by his insatiable spirit of exploration, Koizumi's limitless challenge continues.